the British military are well rehearsed in fighting deadly outbreaks. Now they could help combat the spread of coronavirus. During the Ebola crisis, these barracks in York were used to train army medics. ITV News understands the government's now considering using a military base to quarantine the hundreds of Britons being flown back from the centre of the outbreak. Around 200 British nationals remain trapped in the city of Wuhan, now in lockdown, to try and contain the disease that's killed more than 130 people. Soon, a flight is due to bring them back home. Quite stressed, really. Pressure is at the limit. But for expat English teacher Natalie Francis, who lives in Wuhan, the turmoil goes on. Her three-year-old son, Jamie, has a Chinese passport. I could be evacuated, but there was no chance of my son being evacuated. They were sorry, and did I still want to go? It did kind of leave me um, a bit speechless. Eventually, I, I said, you know, the obvious, no, I, I won't leave without my son. In Westminster this afternoon, the health secretary chaired a meeting of the COBRA Emergency Committee. He said, we're working hard to get British nationals back from Wuhan. Public safety is the top priority. Anyone who returns from Wuhan will be safely isolated for 14 days with all necessary medical attention. But for this British family, a holiday has turned into a nightmare. While Jeff Siddle can return with his nine-year-old daughter, her mother, who has a Chinese passport, can't come. I feel absolutely terrible. I feel as though I'm uh, leaving her without any support. What started as a family holiday has turned into the late night. <laughs> British nationals in Wuhan had until 11 o'clock this morning to register themselves for the flight. It's thought they'll have to sign a contract agreeing to be held for 14 days in isolation when they return. They'll have medical checks before they board and once again when they arrive in the UK. After around 13 hours on a specially chartered flight, it's unclear if the plane will land at a commercial airport or an RAF base. The passengers could then be taken to a military-based facility for their two-week quarantine. But will it be enough? You don't know whether the UK will get, get away with this. France and Germany have had cases. Uh, the bottom line is we are a mercantile nation, we are a transport hub, uh, world travel is still going on. So we don't know is the answer. British Airways has suspended all flights to and from mainland China with immediate effect. And the Foreign Office has updated its advice, now warning against all but essential travel to the country. Drafting in the military shows just how seriously the British government is now taking this threat. If one of the evacuees is infected, they'd be the first known person to bring the virus here. Rebecca Barry, News at 10.